from the most historic to cult favorite storefronts. Here's each state's most iconic restaurant. In 1958, John Big Daddy Bishop opened Dreamland in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The barbecue joint's most iconic dish is the pork spare ribs. They are cooked over a hickory wood fire pit and basted with the restaurant's signature barbecue sauce. Club Paris is Anchorage's oldest steakhouse. Serving since the late 1950s, the restaurant is known for its steak. The hamburgers are even made with filet mignon. El Charo Cafe has been around for nearly 100 years. Not only is it historic, it's also the birthplace of the chimichanga. The Root Cafe is a farm-to-table restaurant offering a variety of things, like farm-fresh groceries, handmade burgers, locally sourced brats, and baked goods. Pink's Hot Dogs has been a Hollywood staple since 1939. The stand serves over 2,000 hot dogs and hamburgers a day. The options are creative, and the menu even offers a hamburger with a hot dog in it. The Buckhorn Exchange is Denver's most historic eatery. The restaurant opened in 1893, and Presidents Teddy Roosevelt, Dwight Eisenhower, Jimmy Carter, and Ronald Reagan have dined there. One of the most popular items on the menu is the Rocky Mountain Oysters, or deep-fried bull testicles. Louie's Lunch is recognized by the Library of Congress as the birthplace of the hamburger sandwich. If you want to get a taste of the hamburger yourself, be prepared to follow a few rules. The patties can only be cooked medium rare and there are no condiments. While a charcoal pit might look like your typical shake and burger joint, this institution has been a favorite for Delawareans for over 60 years. President-elect Joe Biden has been a fan and used to eat there with his son, Beau. What started as a small lunch counter in 1913 has now turned into a Miami destination. Joe's Stone Crab's most popular item is, obviously, the Stone Crabs. They're expertly cracked and enjoyed with mustard sauce. Busy Bee Cafe is an Atlanta destination for fried chicken and other Southern fare. This place has always been busy, like the restaurant's name, and historic figures like Martin Luther King Jr. and President Barack Obama have dined at the restaurant. Waiahole Poi Factory started as a poi factory in 1905. Now it is a restaurant that serves dishes that you would find at a traditional Hawaiian luau. As its namesake, the eatery continues to hand pound its poi, which is made from taro root. Westside Drive-In's famous Idaho ice cream potato looks like a baked potato, but it really isn't. Vanilla ice cream is dusted in cocoa powder and topped with whipped cream and chocolate. Gene and Jude's is famous for its depression dogs, which shouldn't be confused with the Chicago-style hot dog. The hot dog is dressed in mustard, green relish, onions, sport peppers, and a heaping fistful of french fries. St. Elmo Steakhouse is an old-school establishment known for its steaks and spicy shrimp cocktails. Fong's Pizza in downtown Des Moines is popular for its funky concept. It is most known for incorporating Asian flavors into its pizzas. The most famous is arguably the Crab Rangoon Pizza. Joe's Kansas City Barbecue is famous for its award-winning ribs, but its unique location is also a reason why thousands visit every day. The barbecue joint is located outside a gas station. The Brown Hotel is home to a Louisville culinary icon, the Hot Brown. It's basically an open-faced turkey sandwich with bacon and Mornay sauce, which is a bechamel sauce with melted Gruyere. Since 1862, Café du Monde has been a New Orleans tradition. The coffee shop churns out delicious beignets 24-7, except on Christmas Day. The fritters are dusted with powdered sugar and often enjoyed with the store's famous chicory coffee. Red's Eats in Wiscasset has lines out the door during peak season, and for good reason. The restaurant's lobster rolls are time and time again considered the best in Maine. Each lobster roll is stuffed with a whole lobster's meat and a side of melted butter. When you think of Maryland, you think of crab cakes, and Fadley's Seafood is the most iconic place to get them. The award-winning crab cake recipe is made with giant morsels of blue crab, which are then mixed with mustard and Maryland's favorite seasoning, Old Bay. Chopped saltines are also added to give them added fluffiness. Union Oyster House is Boston's oldest restaurant. Established in 1826, the restaurant is considered a national historic landmark and is home to some of the best clam chowder in the city. Buddy's is where Detroit-style pizza was invented. It's kind of like a Sicilian-style pizza, except the key characteristic for this regional specialty is the pan it's cooked in. Legend has it that owner and inventor Gus Guerra got the thick steel pans from a friend who worked in a factory. Acting like a cast iron skillet, this cooking method makes the pizza get a crunchy exterior with caramelized cheese stuck to its edges. 
Matt's bar in Minneapolis boasts of inventing the Juicy Lucy, a cheese-stuffed hamburger. It's time and time again been considered one of the best burgers in the United States. Weidman's in downtown Meridian has been around since 1870 and has been a community staple ever since. The restaurant has continued its tradition of serving every table a jar of peanut butter and crackers since World War II. Arthur Bryant's Barbecue is a destination in Kansas City. The barbecue is doused in the restaurant's famous vinegary paprika e sauce. If you visit, make sure to try the ribs and the burnt ends. Sir Scott's Oasis has been a long-standing eatery in Manhattan, Montana. One of the most popular menu items is the finger steak dinner. The original recipe is basically steak strips deep fried and served with cocktail sauce. Stella's Bar and Grill is a community staple and popular for its burgers. The burgers are so popular, the restaurant has been named Omaha's best burger for 10 years in a row. Part of the reason why the burgers are so special is each ground beef patty is hand pressed on a cast iron grill. Lotus of Siam stands out from other Las Vegas eateries for its award-winning Northern Thai food. Chefs, celebrities, and foodies around the world have lauded the restaurant as one of the best Thai restaurants in the country. Popular dishes include cow soy and garlic prawns. Polly's Pancake Parlor is a famous pancake restaurant known for its variety of batter options. Some of the mixes, like buckwheat and cornmeal, are stone ground on premises. And of course, the pancakes wouldn't be complete without real maple syrup. You might recognize Carlo's Bakery from the hit show Cake Boss. Buddy Velastro creates these amazing, larger-than-life cakes in real life, too. The shop is also popular for its pastries and baked goods. El Pinto is known for its new Mexican cuisine. The restaurant uses a fair bit of chilies, including in its famous red chili ribs. Katz's Delicatessen is a legend and icon in New York. The old school restaurant has been around since 1888 and is world famous for its pastrami on rye sandwich. At Lexington Barbecue, the pit cooked barbecue is served Lexington style, which is a Western North Carolina specialty. This style of barbecue uses a red sauce, and at this spot, they use a tangy vinegar and ketchup based sauce. Anything on the menu is great, but the pork shoulder is a must. Red Pepper, or The Pep, is a famous hangout spot for UND students. Its grinders, or sub sandwiches, are massive. The Everything Grinder takes it up a notch because it's got it all. The signature white sauce, ham, turkey, salami, taco meat, and Colby cheese. Camp Washington Chili serves what Cincinnati is known for, Cincinnati Chili. The James Beard Foundation honored the restaurant with an America's Classic Award, making it the only restaurant in the city to win the title. Spaghetti is topped with the house chili, which has a secret blend of spices. If you order chili three-way, it'll come with a handful of shredded Wisconsin cheddar cheese. An Oklahoma staple, Cattleman's Steakhouse was originally a hub for cattlemen, farmers, and cowboys. Situated in the middle of the historic Stockyard City, the steakhouse is famous for lamb fries, which are fried lamb testicles, and great quality steaks. Voodoo Donuts started in Portland and has become world famous for its creative and quirky donuts. Iconic flavors include the bacon maple bar and voodoo doll. John's Roast Pork is not only a must-go destination for tourists, it's also been a local favorite for decades. The restaurant is considered the best to get two of Philadelphia's most iconic sandwiches, the roast pork and cheesesteak. Al Forno in Providence is famous for starting the popular grilled pizza. The margarita has a thin and crispy crust and the cheese and sauce are bright. Husk in Charleston is famous for taking Southern food to a whole new level. The restaurant only uses ingredients that are from the South and the menu is constantly changing. Cattleman's Steakhouse isn't your typical white tablecloth restaurant. While the restaurant serves quality black Angus steaks and delicious prime rib, the dining experience is casual. You can still find sawdust on the floor, a tradition that started when owner Merrill Arch opened the restaurant with his son in 1986. Prince's Hot Chicken is the originator of Nashville's Hot Chicken. Prince's authentic recipe is kept a secret and the kitchen is always closely guarded. Whatever goes into this fiery dish, locals and tourists can't get enough. Considered by many to be Austin's best barbecue joint, Salt Lake is known for its smoked meats that are grilled on top of a giant pit. While you can't go wrong with anything on the menu, the brisket especially does Texas proud. Crown Burgers is a small fast food chain that is based in Salt Lake City. Its famous Crown Burger is a cheeseburger with hot pastrami. Maple Sugar and Vermont Spice in Killington makes its own maple syrup and serves it alongside the restaurant's breakfast items. The Park Gift Shop Part Restaurant is considered one of the best breakfast spots in town. 
Since 1935, Riverside Lunch has been a no-frills local favorite for its hand-pressed, greasy-in-a-good-way burgers. Beecher's started in Pike Place Market and has become a Seattle staple. The restaurant makes its own signature flagship cheese, which is a key ingredient to its award-winning mac and cheese. Pies and Pints is a famous restaurant known for its unconventional pizzas. The grape and gorgonzola pie is a crowd favorite for its sweet and savory combination. Leon's Frozen Custard is an iconic destination in Milwaukee. It's been around since 1942, and upon entering the drive-in, guests can feel like they're traveling back in time. The famous custards are thick, creamy, and delicious. The luxury diner is situated inside what used to be a trolley. The restaurant is popular for its hearty fare, including the green chili, country fried steak, and corned beef hash. While they aren't states, here are the most iconic restaurants in Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. Ben's Chili Bowl is an iconic diner and landmark in the D.C. area. While the menu offers the usual diner items, the Half Smoke, a chili hot dog, is the signature item. The Lechon from El Racho de Apa comes from a whole roasted pig. Because it's cooked for more than five hours, the skin is super crispy and the meat is juicy. The dish is paired with pigeon pea rice and plantains. What foods do you think we should cover next? Let us know in the comments.